Hey guys, Missy and Ellie here, and we are playing something new on my channel today, and I have with me a guest. Voice crack, oh my gosh. It's wow. so adorable. Hey no. everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Don't do this to me. <laughs> anyway, so yes, just as a one-off thing, we are going to be playing a board of Mario Party 2. Fun and games in rage and wanting to kill everyone all around. The destroyer of friendships, and yet they put <laughs> rainbows all over the title screen as if it's going to be a fun, fun, happy time. Well, it'll be a fun, fun time. Probably not happy for one of us. Happy for them. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we do have a bunch of boards here. I would like to mention that we did do... Which board did we do? We did Pirate we did Land. Pirate Land. We did Pirate Land over on Chugga's channel. So yes. if you want to check that out, that is also available to you. I believe you. that one's going up first, so it's up right now. Yeah, yeah, that one's going up first. That's why I mentioned it. I wouldn't have mentioned it. But so on this channel, we are doing up to you. Yeah, on uh, my channel, she chose the board of Pirate Land. So um, it was a bit of a toss up. I was thinking Horror Land, Mystery Land, or Space Land. I think I ultimately decided Space Land. I guess I. Ooh. I'm pretty certain about my choice now after saying I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have... Toad. Yeah! In a spacesuit with no helmet. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a spacesuit. Maybe his toad-ish thing can breathe on its own well, or something. Well, in Pirate Land, as I'm not going to mention too much about the other board, but in Pirate Land, he was thrusting. Here he has thrusters. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, good old, good old thrust. Thrust. All thrust. Uh, I'd be for Luigi. I don't know about you. Sure, Luigi's fun. Uh, who else? Who else should be? Who else? Oh, Wario, I guess. Wario. Wario, why not? Y you know I'm. You know I'm on board with that. Doing normal computer players. Uh, this is gonna be a 20 turn game, shortest of the bunch, allowed in this one. And we're also gonna be doing bonus stars. Just simply put, you can get some stars at the end of the game should mm -hmm. you complete these bonuses. Do you think it's necessary to explain the rules of Mario Party for those that might not have played, or do you think it's pretty self-explanatory? A lot of it is self-explanatory, but if there's like very map-specific things, then I guess. Yeah. It's just as simple as you're collecting coins, you're using the coins to buy the stars, yep. the person with the most stars at the end wins, yep. ties are broken by coins. Yep, there are also three bonus stars, as we mentioned before. There is the coin star, which you get from having the mo most coins at some point in the game. Minigame star, which is most coins one from minigames and what was the one? The happening, happening star. star most from landing on the most happening space. Yeah. Happening spaces will change things about the board, so they're encouraging you to land on as many of those as possible so that the game Which changes. is gonna be really fun in this board. <laughs> oh yeah. Black so, hole I call this time is to protect us, Mission from Black Hole Bowser, Plunderer of Outer Space, keep a deep space peaceful place. Sounds like a slogan of like a like a space patroller, like a garbage collector. <laughs> deep deep space, a peaceful place. <laughs> that become... is actually a very good slogan. Yes. <laughs> now, before the adventure begins, we must decide the turn order. Oh my god, he is like thrusting in his spacesuit down there. Why are we like turning Toad into this thrusting. Seven. Thrusting seven. I'm going last. Hey. Actually, on this board, that, on, might, that might actually be a good thing. On this board, you want to go last. Because everyone will like screw themselves over on their turn before you move. Uh, this is true. Honestly, I've, I've said this with you before. I like going last in Mario Party. Oh, that Let is me. a bad Ooh. first star space. Ouch. I've had games where that was the star space from the beginning and no one ever got to it in the 20 turns. Yep. Yep. That happens a lot. All right, well. We'll see how this goes. Starting us off, I get an eight. I think Ooh, I just got good a good roll. space. Yes, happening space already. So you are the happening star. Yeah. You're the happening, man. I'm happen. I'm You're a happening, happening monkey. <laughs> I'm so the we're all second place I'm except the you. Happening banana in. And he gets a three. Let's see Wario. Oh, Wario got a happening space too. So you're both happening. We're both happening. I'm happening with the fat man. <laughs> what? I was channeling John with that one. <laughs> happening with the fat man. <laughs> one of my favorite out of context things that John has ever said is can you limbo with the fat man? <laughs> And you just got one too. It's a three-way tie for the wow. happening star. I think this should be a good time to mention that if there is ever a four-way tie for a bonus star, no one gets it. Because it would do nothing to the rankings if he gave everyone a star. I think it should give it to us anyway, just to inflate those numbers a little. 
Okay, okay. No! What? Why? Okay, I don't want to bring up the other board to play too much in case people haven't watched them, but didn't we start off the other board with this mini game too? I don't remember. I think we did. If we played it at least at some, some point. Some point. So that's why this hurts, because this is the worst mini game of the bunch. Ah. The AI always wins this. Always, no matter what. I think I have... Wait, oh, what? You moved again before I went back to sleep. You know, I legitimately did not know that could happen. Ow. But I wasn't gonna win anyway because AI. Uh, or, ah, frickin'. I was hoping it would get caught and then I could just very slowly and calmly take the finish. I think I've only won this minigame once and that was because the AI knocked itself out. Yeah, it was just really stupid. It just, I don't like the minigame. You're supposed to let go of the control stick so that you don't, so you can go back into the barrel and not get noticed, but it just doesn't work. Well, it works. It just works very delayedly and the AI is way too yeah. pathetic. I've heard people say like, don't hold the control stick all the way though, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> no, then you go too slow. Yeah. Well, um, this right here is the uh, Sniffit Patrol. If we were to lay this down, anytime you land in a habiting space, instead of going back to this space that we were on, you would follow the green lights all the way back here. You'd go across that girder and end up on that blue space right there. Mm -hmm. So it basically is a way to screw people over from getting to things that they want potentially, but- Or get you to someplace that you want to go. Yeah, in case there's something up there you might want to do. I, yeah. I don't really have any reason to spend the money though. Those five coins are precious to me at the present time. Uh, Luigi, on the other hand, doesn't really feel like he needs to conserve his money. <laughs> Luigi is the big spender. So we're supposed to be like cadets on the space patrol, you know, like basically like peacekeepers of the galaxy. And yet the police are like out to like... Run you over? Like I get that there's always like guys speeding through like when you hit a happening space, which is giving them something to arrest. But you know what I mean. But they're like going to kill you if you don't run. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Rainbow Run! Wow! Wow, that, that is the most remote minigame in Mario Party. So we got the worst one and then the most remote. You need 100% the game in order to get this one. So that's a very, very interesting minigame to get. Yeah. You have to buy all the minigames, then I think after that you get the minigame coaster, and then you beat the minigame coaster on hard to get this. This is a very, very hard minigame to win if you're like the... Well, the three players. Which though. is odd because walking a tightrope with people shooting cannonballs at you in real life, especially if they hit you as often as they do in this game, you think that would be like the hardest thing ever? I can't even hit you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's all it took. I can't even hit you. Wow, you guys are pelting me. Wow! Yeah! That, you guys have got a lot of synergy going. Please let that be the thing that jinxed it. No! Ha ha! Wario! Hi! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Nine, eight, seven, no, six! No, there's no way. Oh! Almost! That was, I almost lost that a few times. That was a nerve wracking game. Okay, well, put it this way. We nailed you so many times on that, and yet you still won. Yeah. I don't really get like how the one player is supposed to lose that. Like it's very weighted in the one player's favor. I th I think the time limit should be a little bit shorter. Shorter? I think even longer. No. I mean like the oh, amount of time. Oh, you countdown. mean the amount of time I have to reach the yeah. goal. So that way you could Well Hey, I don't have to go back. Wonderful. I was one space out of the territory for this. Man, that's, that's, that's a little bit awkward. I just realized they pull off to the side at the end of that. That's him pulling over after the cops <laughs> get him. <laughs> uh, that reminds me how the other day there was that guy I saw that got pulled over and then there was a guy that sped past the policeman. Oh yeah, like, you told me about that. Yeah, 45 miles an hour. The policeman runs and like dives into his car, <laughs> floors it after the guy that just sped past him and arrests it, and, or not arrests him, but pulls him over too. It was crazy. I remember we were wondering like how policemen can like pull over multiple people and I guess you found out how. Yeah, he did it. He like dove into his car after that guy sped past him and just floored it. By the way, this minigame sucks. Yeah, it's really hard to get what you want. Ooh, plunder chest. That could be potentially bad. Yeah, it's that you steal an item from a random opponent, and when there's only one opponent that has an item, you have a 100% chance of getting what they have, and if you get a good item, oof. Three, four. Five coins. 
thanks a bunch, baby Bowser. This isn't really a board that you see a lot of items on, though, because that minigame is hard to get what you want, and I think there's only one shop on the entire board, and it's not something that you often go to. That's true. That's true. So, yeah, we might not even really get much item usage. It's just oh, kind of this something... game. Yeah. All right, basically an obstacle course or straight shot to the finish, rather. But run and jump, nothing much. It's else. Mario platforming. Yeah, except a lot more wonky because it's isometric. I wouldn't really mind, like, okay, I guess the isometric platforming on Mario RPG was a bit wonky, though, but you know what I mean. Oop. Bringing up games that the Let's Player has Let's Played. Yep. Yay. You should watch that LP. It was fun. Shoot! I mean, hers, not mine. Mine sucks. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. My Let's Play of Mario RPG is freaking awful. <laughs> pat, pat. Sorry. No, nobody likes their early videos. Like, everyone thinks their early videos suck pretty bad. Let's not talk about mine. Anyway, back to the game. Game times. Let's play or talk. Uh, where was that thing again? It was up here. Uh, okay. So, this thing in the middle right here, you gotta be careful with, because when that hits zero, it goes down by one every time someone walks by it. When it hits zero, there is a laser that spans this entire diagonal part of the board. And, and it eats all of your coins. Yeah, you lose all, all of them. All of your coins. It, it really sucks, and it ruins friendships. Wario is probably gonna get that star. Yeah, he probably is. I'm gonna go this way. I just don't want to be in the way of that potentially because I'm getting no. Wait, what? I chose very wisely. Wait, what? I chose very wisely. Are you serious right now? I took the lead. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell, Emil. <laughs> oh my God, what is your luck? <laughs> what the heck is your luck? I I am like this close to just marching right over there. Marching and, right and, over there. And doing what to me? You want to find out? Well, give us something to do while we wait for Luigi to finish this minigame. <laughs> all right, all right. No, I'm lazy. The, I guess used arm thrust. <laughs> what is it with I thrust? can't reach you. <laughs> It's not worth it. Well, you, you moved your arm twice, and arm thrust is a two to five hit move, so, you know. Emil, really? And I guess because it didn't hurt me, I'm a ghost type. Why? Why? 